So I want to talk to you about the Marauder Mini. Uh, this is a torch from Olight. Now I've shown you lots and lots of torches in the past, but this one is the torch of all torches, the mother of torches that I've ever had in my hand. This thing is phenomenal. It's got a throw of 600 meters. Now that is a long, long, long way. And it's got a maximum output of 7,000 lumens. You heard me right, 7,000 lumens. That is seriously mega bright. Now on the back of the box, there is a complete list, a massive list of all the things that this thing will do uh, brightness wise. You've got uh, 7,000 lumens run time for two minutes and it drops down to 1,600 lumens for 160 minutes and then 900 lumens for 10 minutes. That is your maximum throw of 310 meters. That's on floodlight. This thing has a floodlight and a spotlight and I'm yet to even show you the torch. I'm just reading off the back of the box. I'm not going to go for all of this because if I go for all of this, we will have a video that's 10 times longer than it needs to be. So pretty much this is all going to be on the screen for you. Please read it and have a look. It is a phenomenal piece of kit. This is our torch. This is what I'm here to show you. This is here what I'm talking about. This thing is phenomenal. Now, I've had other torches. I've got other torches and uh, this thing just knocks them out of the park. It really, really does. On the front, you can see you've got a selection of LEDs. Um, these are all... Um, using wool in different ways. You'll notice on the front you've got uh, six that are yellow on the front there. They are your floodlight um, LEDs. You've got a large LED in the center with like a dome glass over it. That is your spotlight LED. And then you've got three other little ones that look like a white light. These are RGB lights. These are color lights. You have a green, a blue, and a red light. This is all in one torch. This thing's phenomenal. So if we look at the little front there, I've got my little torch out so I can show you the front of the um, light. So there you go, there's all your LEDs in the front there. Um, absolute, a big, massive array of lights. Um, so yeah, how does this thing work? What does it do? This is a full industrial size mini torch. Um, it, it packs more of a punch than I've ever seen in my life. Inside, let's show you the battery. This thing is made of um, an aluminium alloy this thing is really robust it's got a really good thumb twist group on the back of it which is housing your battery and this battery is massive this is a 6500 milliamp 3.75 so we screw it on it's got a beautiful feel and it's got an o-ring inside it which locks it off and uh, gives you that water seal this is ipx8 water rating uh, which means you can drop it in water up to i think it's about two meters and it's also got an impact resistance of 1.5 meters which is about six foot now when you screw the battery back in you get a bit of a buzz from it uh, that tells you that it's actually powered up inside and on the front you've got a big thumb screw wheel there i hope you can see that uh, you've got this big thumb screw wheel on the front which is for turning the power on and off if you give it a quick flick on the side you'll see the little lights light up on the inside there that just gives you an indication of how much power you've got inside this thing when it's switching on and at the moment it's fully powered up so uh, we've got plenty of light and plenty of power in there this thing is seriously bright i said it's 7,000 lumens i can't shine it in my face or in you know in this van because it's going to really blow your eyes out but i'm going to switch it on anyway just to give you a bit of a, an insight to what it looks like and then later on when it's a little bit darker outside i'm going to do a little bit of overlay a little bit of b-roll over the top just to give you an idea of how good this thing really is on the front of it also as well you have a little switch a little toggle switch on the front this little toggle switch as you can see there is for your spotlight and your floodlight now this has got a really nice rubber ergonomic grip it's not going to fall out your hand uh, anytime soon it really is nice and it also comes in the box it comes with a lanyard a standard it comes with this little super fine little lanyard and you also get your charging cable and your charging cable is the standard cable that you get from olight and it basically magnetizes to the back the charging cable is an mcc one amp to 1.5 amp uh, I'm just going to check to make sure this one's exactly the same. It is exactly the same. So you see it's got a little green light on it at the moment. A little green light indicates that it's plugged in. And when you magnetise it to the back, this little green light turns to red if it needs charging. And like I said, this thing is already fully charged, so we haven't got to worry about it. And then we just literally pull it off afterwards. You've got a ring on the back as well. On the front there, you've got a great big ring to connect your 
lanyard too so your lanyard can be connected to there so you can have it on your wrist i like to have a lanyard on my torches because then if i drop it i know that it's attached to my wrist and i can do other things and have it hanging down underneath but this has got a really good grip this you're not going to drop this this is really good there's a, a, a knurling all the way around as well this big thick knurling this is part of the heat sink and the heat sink is to help keep this thing cool because of course if it's running at 7000 lumens it's going to get pretty warm so to turn it on it's pretty easy it's a lot easier than the other torches you literally just spin it once and then press it and on it comes and you can see there at the moment it's on spotlight uh, and the spotlight is a nice small round beam that you can see home facing up there and that is on its lowest setting and all you do to turn it up is you spin the wheel with your thumb and as you spin the wheel with your thumb if I can point it behind me I'll spin the wheel and you can see there it gets brighter and brighter and when it's on maximum power it buzzes in your hand as well if I spin it down you can hear that buzzing if I spin it back up it buzzes when it gets to the top. So it gives you an indication without having to look at it that you're on maximum lumens. Now, if you want to go onto floodlight, you see this at the moment at the top there, it's on the spotlight. If I want to flick this over to floodlight, I literally just flick this switch on the side and it goes over to floodlight. Okay, so the difference between this is inside there, you have your little center piece and it firing out the center ring. As soon as you flick it over, you can see it goes to the outside lights and it's covering the outside lights. Uh, and that's what it's doing. It's giving you this floodlight. And again, if we spin it up, you can listen to it as I spin it up. It goes up to 7,000 lumens. This is seriously, seriously, seriously bright. And then back down to your lowest setting. Turn it off. You just literally press and hold to turn it off. If you want your colors, you turn it on. You press and turn it on. And then you press and hold it again and you will get your red light. You can see there you've got a red light and this goes up to about 400 lumens. So you can turn it up and you can see it here in it buzzing on its high and low power. Press it again and you go to a green light. I think I understand green light's quite good for fishing and you can turn it up to full power. You can hear it buzzing and it buzzes when it's on low and then press and hold it again and then you get your blue light. Very pretty blue light. Uh, it's all right if you want to do a bit of a party, you can have a nice blue light on. Um, but again, it's anti-dazzling lights. And again, if you want a full power, maximum power and low power if you run it back to white again turn it off turn it back on it goes back to white very very simple to use very very easy to use and extremely extremely comfortable in your hand this is quite small you can keep this in your pocket you can quite happily put that in your pocket carry it around in your pocket fine not a problem it's that small even though it's got all this power but it does come with it comes with its own pouch in the box you get this lovely little pouch got the velcro grip on it and then you've got the velcro to attach it you've also got your belt cover so you can flip it onto a belt and have it on a belt or you've got your d-ring to have it attached to your um, camper bag your carrying bag your hiking bag your rescue bag or whatever it is you need to have it to and the good thing is the bottom is out which means you can charge it while it is in its case as well which is really really good it's not going to fall out of it. it's a really really tight snug case and it weighs nothing that case doesn't there is a little bit of weight to this i will put the weight up on the screen for you unless i can quickly find it on here including the battery the weight is 462 grams that is 16.3 ounces the dimensions the bezel dimension is 65.6 .6 millimeters uh, which is 2.58 inches and the length is 130 millimeters which is 5.12 inches and the battery, like I said, this is a 6,500 milliamp uh, battery. On low power, blue light, uh, we've got blue. Blue light will shine at 120 lumens maximum, runtime of maximum 260 minutes. And your red light will run for 200 lumens, uh, throw of 90 meters, and it runs for ages. I'm not going to read all these. There's so much information on the back of this. It is just crazy. So that's that's what I wanted to show you. This this torch, this thing is absolutely phenomenal. And like I say, I'm going to put a little B-roll over the top of when I'm talking. I'm going to shine it outside. I'm actually parked next to the beach at the moment, and I'm going to show you how much power this thing really does punch. Uh, we're in the right, working in the dark, but you can see this uh, nice set of LEDs there ready to go. And what I'm going to do is just turn this on. So we're going to flick it through. We've got four power steering. See with all the little blue lights that come on. I'll just show you that again all the blue lights and then we're going to start off on low level one switcher on and there we go level one it's shining the light down into the car park outside the van it's just starting to rain so it's going to be quite quick on doing this uh, and then i'm just going to gradually spin the wheel and you're going to see the light increase up to its maximum 
supersonic lumens. This is a very bright floodlight, as you can see there, as I'm breathing, you can see it's cold outside and the steam coming from my mouth. And uh, what I'm gonna do is now is just whack it up onto full. It buzzes in my hand, so I know it's on full power. And this is a seriously, seriously bright floodlight. This is lighting everything, all the trees around me. It's lighting the whole car park. It's illuminating the bottom of the car park as well. I can see everything that's going on. There's not a single thing in this car park I can't see with this light lit up. So this is a very, very bright light. If I whack it up and whack it to spotlight, this should change the light completely. So full power, knock it over the spotlight. You can see there, we've got this really bright, bright compressed light. Uh, whack the volume up to full volume. Say full volume, it's on full power. And you can see it's a very direct light compared to the other one. This is a spotlight for actually searching. You can search for that tree there, you can search for the sign over that side. You can see the sign illuminating in the trees and everything else and the bench. Um, so yeah, it's lighting all the way down to the bottom of the car park. And if I flick it back to floodlight, you'll see the difference in the floodlight and it gives you that massive big beam of light to search everything around. Uh, an absolutely fantastic piece of kit. Really, really, really nice. Press and hold. So going on to a red light, you can see there that the red light's giving you that beam. It only works on floodlight, so you get in that red beam for lighting around, keeping the denty dim. Press again, it goes to that green light. So this is, I think this is ideal for fishing and stuff like that. And then we go up to blue light and it's giving us that really nice blue LED looking light and back to white light and I hopefully you've really enjoyed that so yeah thanks to Light for sending me this this is going to live in my van this is an absolutely fantastic torch it's got a lockout on it as well so if you don't spin it and it goes off you can't turn it on and off you have to spin the wheel before you turn it on so it has a lock off on it as well but yeah absolutely fantastic really really nice thanks to Light again Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Give us that thumbs up. And if you've got a really good torch, a really powerful torch, and you want to tell me about it, please do in the comments because I'd love to hear about it. Um, but this thing is phenomenal. Absolutely amazing. Wow.